Alright, so Hi everyone. So today the video they have for you is going to be on freckled faced people's makeup. <laughs> um but um I did her full face makeup and then I also did a nice purple smoky eye. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, then please keep on watching. Hi everyone, so this is my beautiful friend Sarah. What we're going to be doing today is doing the foundation and makeup for freckled skin. Um, now what I'm starting out with is a base from Lancome called Visionaire. Um, you can use any, anything like the naked skin, something that has an optical blurring in it. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to give the appearance of no... Um, like any no flaws no imperfections and we want that for this skin because we don't want to cover up the freckles um, because then that's not going to look natural the foundation that I'm using on her is Bare Minerals. For freckled skin, I like to use a powder foundation, and the reasoning is because liquid foundation is going to cover up the freckles, and we don't want that. So I applied the Mineral Veil after the foundation, and then I'm just applying a, a nice rosy blush from MAC called Desert Rose. I'm also applying a Hoola Bronzer. Um, like I said, you want to keep to all powders for this look um, and that is because we don't want to cover up the freckles and make her skin look different than what it actually is um, so I'm just applying hula bronzer all over her face contouring the nose the cheeks um, the sides of the forehead um, and now I am adding a nice little shimmer to her cheeks a nice little highlight for the eyes, I went with just a simple smoky eye. What I'm doing here is applying a base to her eyes. I'm using Max Paint Pot in um, Painterly. Now, for the eyes, um, Painterly is a little bit thicker of a consistency, so that is going to cover up the freckles on the eyes so that you can make sure that the shadows are going to come out and show. Um, now, filling in the brows, I'm just lightly filling in her brows with a taupe powder from Anastasia. And then going back to the eyes, I am just going to place a nice light cream over that to prepare for the shadows. So for the first shadow, I am using a light taupe color in her crease and I am blending it in the outer part of the eye, the outer corner and in the crease and pushing it towards the inner corner. Um, I'm going to lightly blend that with my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm just going to darken it up as you see here. I'm also going to add a deep purple. You want to make sure you blow off all the products on the blending brush so that the deep purple doesn't come out too dark. As you can see, I'm blending it into the crease and the outer corner right here. Then I'm going to add a nice pinkish white shimmer to the inner corner. There are many different ones you can use, but for on her, I use the MAC Pigment in Vanilla, one of my favorite pigments. So I'm just patting that and brushing it very lightly into the inner corner and pushing it up. After that, I'm going to put on some gel liner. I like gel liner for this look because it is a lot more natural than the look of liquid liner. Of course, you're then going to put on some mascara. I'm going to lift up her eye while her eyes are closed so that the lashes don't touch the cheeks. Once I'm done with mascara, I'm going to be using a NYX liner in natural. I'm going to be lining her lips very lightly and then blending that all together and onto the inner part of her lips so that the lips stay the same shape that I want them and keep the lip gloss and lipstick on. I'm putting a natural um, pinkish lipstick on her lips. This is the Jennifer Lopez L'Oreal lipstick. And then on top, I am putting a little bit of a pink lip gloss from NYX. But that is it, guys. If you have any questions, please ask below. But thank you so much for watching. See you soon.